Okay, welcome back. And uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the, all the components in the cabin of the aircraft, for the uh, Apprentice S-15E aircraft. And uh, so in general, there's maybe five components. First is this switch, okay? Note that the switch is in the off position when it's back, okay? And the switch is got some wires leading to the uh, receiver and other wires back here. <clears throat> um, what it does, what the switch does is just interrupt the power to the receiver. So this other um, black thing down here is the speed controller. This is what the battery plugs into and when you plug the battery into this there is power to the motor but not to the receiver until you turn on the switch. So when you kill the switch, you don't kill the power to the motor. The motor could potentially turn, which to me is a safety hazard, but you have to understand what it is and what it's not, okay? So you have the switch. This is the speed controller, and that's the um, where you plug the battery in. Now, the, this, this uh, ESC, here, let me uh, get a little closer here so you can see what I'm talking about. So the... Um, the EC3 connector here is going to be tucked down in the bottom of the aircraft like that, and that's not very long. And we'll we'll talk about that later when we get to. We'll, we'll need some kind of extension on that. <clears throat> so the other thing um, you've got here is the uh, receiver and the um, rudder servo and the elevator servo. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk separately in, a, in the next video about the ESC and the receiver, but as far as everything else goes, about the only thing you have to do for the um, uh, rudder and nose wheel steering servo, you see a clevis here that leads up toward the nose, and you see um, a Z-bend here on a wire that leads back to the tail and to the rudder. So. Um, Anytime you have a clevis, you ought to have a, this um, plastic, white plastic piece here, okay? That should be up uh, close, not necessarily touching like it is now. I'm going to move it back just to slightly, okay? So I don't want it touching the uh, arm of the servo, but I want it close enough to hold the, the uh, clevis together. Uh, and if we need to, we'll take this clevis off and adjust the nose wheel, okay? So, um, if we need to adjust the tail, there's a clevis back here on the rudder. This has a clevis back here on the rudder, so we, we'll adjust that back on the, on the rudder. Same for the elevator. you got a Z-bend here, which is fixed, and you got a clevis at the other end. So you have one end fixed and one end adjustable. Um, so, the... Um, the servos, we will make sure they're centered before uh, we put the um, clevises onto the, um, in the tail to the rudder and elevator. And we'll also make sure that, they're, that this is centered before we install the nose wheel. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to talk in detail about the ESC, what to, what to know about it. Uh, and the following video, I'll talk about the receiver. So that's the cabin components. Take a look at them carefully. Uh, in my opinion, off is backwards. Off should be forward and, and uh, on should be back. But it's in place. I'm not going to change it. It's okay with me. Uh, all my other airplanes are in the, are the other direction. You do have a, um, uh, a couple of wires here that you have to make sure don't get tangled up. Uh, wires from the switch here and um, I might take those down I might not I'll uh, check and see if they're going to be in the way of anything but I like to have these things kind of taped down so they don't move okay thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video